Hello. Is it recorded? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. It's the, the bread. Down. Hello. <laughs> My name is Tazi Levesque, and joining us today is director, writer, editor, Ethan Fawcett, ladies Ethan and Fawcett. gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you very so, much. We bring you here today to discuss a uh, a one of your famous films of yours, mm -hmm. one of the two films that mm -hmm. you made. Um, it, I believe it's called "I Want to Kiss You." Yes, is that correct. That is correct. Yes. Can you tell us the uh, the origin of the making of this movie? Why did you make this? What was the spark of the concept? What motivated you to make this? Well, I'm not I'm not too sure. I just was sitting around, and I guess just one day I was like. How do bipolar people think? It just doesn't really like sometimes. I don't. I don't know because one second you're feeling this way, one second you're feeling that way, and then I was like, well, what if both of these people, just like two two bipolar people, what if they clashed? What would happen? What would occur? And um, I feel like that was kind of just the basis of it, you know, just like because you'd be walking around some days and then. It, you just get hit with inspiration, man, and I think that's just what it was. Do you suffer from bipolar disorder? Sometimes. I mean, just it just really depends on the day. Do you think that your depiction of bipolar people would have been offensive? Uh, uh I I heard that. Um, and I don't know where I read this. Uh, but I heard that it, the initial uh start of the film was actually it was for a school project for the, yeah. uh, the recently deceased Compass College for Film and Digital mm -hmm. Media. Yeah, very sad, Can very sad. lean into uh, what that project was? That project was an ADR project, and what we had to do was basically just kind of, um, you know, ADR, to simplify it down, is you shoot uh, footage without any sound, and then you take that footage, you go into a sound booth, and then you uh, voice it over, and you add folly to it, and then you... Make make it a film uh, from the uh, you know from the from the ground up basically you just kind of insert your own sound in the sound studio and um, that was just thank you Luke uh, something really bad and uh, this was your first outing as a director right? yes yes it was and walk me through that process uh, how, how did that feel it felt was it weird being new at something it, yes it did felt it did it did feel really you talk weird, about really that for me. I will. I think it was just very strange going into a position where you're in a creative spot and you just have to be kind of the, that center mind wave of just this project that kind of goes and goes and goes. And you and, and when you're a director, you got to direct people. And I mean, that's that was new to me because I've always been the kind of guy that listens to people and the guy that, you know, like follows direction. So it was very different giving direction this time. So you used and, to be a follower and now you become a leader. You would say. Yeah, yeah, I'd say so. And, and I think that transition was very kind of therapeutic for me in a way. And I think it kind of is like a drug that I want to get more of now because I feel I feel that uh, I didn't do a bad you job. You become addicted to power. Yes. Do you think that you had too strong of a hand working on this movie? That's a, that's a good question. Or too light of one? Do you want to push your people harder next time and exercise more control? Or do you think that this was the perfect amount of control? I don't know. What do you think, Luke? Fuck you. Okay. We have also here today, uh, Lucas. Lucas, um, were you in this movie? No. Sorry, speaking of the microphone, please. I was not in the movie. Um, what are you, uh, you were not in the movie? Correct. That is correct. That's, uh, that's okay. we're gonna be back to Ian Fawcett. <laughs> Hi. Um. <coughs> you alright? Um. Yes. I'm good. <laughs> so, this uh, was an action movie. This course. is an action movie. There is dialogue, of course, because there has to be ADR. Oh, of course. Um, was there any troubles that you ran across shooting this movie? Shooting this movie, uh, there were a few troubles shooting this movie, and uh, honestly, uh, it was just kind of, oh, sorry. And uh, honestly, it was just kind of like, going back to my hometown was kind of... Uh, you shot this in your hometown? Going to, yes, I shot this in my hometown. This was a personal oh, film. Oh, Robert. This was a very personal film, and I feel like... Going in personal at first just is the best move, really, because it, it just gets you out there. It's not this kind of fabricated you. It's really you. Anyway, uh, at the shoot, uh, I found um, that, uh, you know, uh, that it was like, it, it was really cold. And we had to shoot. <laughs> you said that you worked as the, in the costume departments as well. Um, 
I think that I kind of left it to them to improvise because they should know what I want as a director. I think that my vision should I agree uh, completely. Uh, encompass. So I think they should just know. And uh, I think they did a good job. I think they did a good job. They could have done better. But the real trouble, the main trouble, um, wasn't the choreography. We were natural at that. Uh, the real, real, real trouble was the clouds. The damn fucking clouds. Um, they, they were, they were really... They were really... Um, Sorry. I'm going to keep rolling. Um, but yeah, uh, well, like, should we get that last line again, but without the swear? Yeah, the clouds. And, they, and you, we had to time these shots, and because it's an action uh, movie, we have to articulate these shots and make sure that we're doing them right because people could get hurt. And that just adds onto the stress of it all, <laughs> and that adds the stress of it all, and it's just, it's just rough. But timing the clouds, in the end, we got it done, and I think that's the important thing. Nice. Okay, you got it done, and that is very much a big accomplishment for making mm -hmm. a movie, especially a two-minute movie, which is yes. extremely difficult to make. Extremely outside. difficult, yeah. Um, and what, what did you shoot on this movie on? A camera. And uh, was what are the, the strengths you have working with your, your crew members? What are each of their strengths? What are the things that went well during this movie? Uh, real, realistically, um, I was the best one there, but uh, I, Josh Joshua... Um, did an, a splendid job in the editing bay and just really went to town on the final edit. There, I, ha I held a trial for the editors and I really just wanted to see which one was a cut above the rest. Because again, I need to be at the center of this project. So I was like, okay, I need someone to represent me. And Josh did the best job. So I commend him for that. And uh, I think it's important to get the right people to do it. And, uh, and Gabe, do you have any praises for him and his action choreography work? He, he is incredible. I will say this. He is very, very good. And um, I think it's just uh, really well done. And uh, I, think, I think it's great. Um, I, think, I think Gabe did a really good job. He was very athletic, and he uh, does theater, and he does uh, a bunch of other really athletic things. I heard that he was like an Olympic athlete, but uh, that, that could just be a rumor. I'm not too sure. Uh, but it was a real pleasure working with another perfectionist like him. He seems to be a tremendous physical performer. Yeah. Uh, would you work with him again? Um, yes, I think I would work with him again. Uh, it's kind of on the fence because there were some times where he would disagree with me. Of course it's natural because everyone has a subjective view, but my view is right in the end, so I guess that's kind of the point of, uh, you know, paying attention. And, um, Pay attention to what I want, but I think Gabe did a fairly good job. Uh, he learned. He learned. And I think through that learning, he'll come back. They always come back. So I think that's really what matters. For the ADR project, um, you all edited this, correct? You all took a shot at editing? Yeah, um, we all took a shot at editing. Uh, me being me, I made a perfect edit. Naturally, I made a perfect edit. So, um, it was kind of... So naturally, it was just kind of like this thing where I was like, you know, people need to get a little bit of recognition. I could have done it perfectly, but like, I felt bad because they were so below me. And I just felt... Terrible. So this was this so, ADR project. How was it um, gathering the ADR? Was it, this is your first time doing this? Yes. And how was that? It was fun. Um, getting in the editing room, you know, screaming, uh, doing all that good stuff, having fun with the boys, and just, you know, ha having a good, good time. And uh, I think in the end, that happiness kind of transmuted into the edit. And uh, our voices came together in kind of like this core chorus symphony, and it really just added to the grandiose of the film overall. So I think that was. I, I think that we can all agree that we can yeah. feel that grandiose in the final product. Is there, as we're wrapping this up, is there anything that you learned from this movie? What are the grand lessons you learned from making your first film? I think it's important to let people try, even if you are in command. I think it is important that you let people try. And I think that, uh, in the end, filming is an art form. 
So I think it's important that we, as the human species, create art. And I think it's important that everyone should understand that I'm the best. Very well said. Very well said. And uh, that's all we have today for director Ian Fawcett.